In the previous lesson, we learned about the CSS selectors and how can we use them to select web elements based on their tag name, class name, ID, or any other attribute. In this lesson, we'll learn how can we select them based on their parent-child relationship. So let's say what we want to do is select this home link element right here. If we go ahead and inspect the same, you can see it is a A item with a class of nav link and the active class. So if you go ahead and try to select this using the a tag name dot the class name that is nav hyphen link, you can see we select around 33 instances. Now that's not good. We just want to select one with this nav link inside this dark or black navigation bar. To do that, what we can do is just take a look at its pattern. That is, first of all, we'll go ahead and select this black navigation bar. And then inside of this, we'll select this home link element. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we'll take a look at the navigation bar itself. You can see we have a navigation bar that is this dev element right here. Above that, we have this nav component that is just the navigation bar element in HTML. You can see it has a class of nav bar, then a nav bar expand, a nav bar doc, and a bg hyphen doc. Now this seems the unique name every navigation bar will have, like it is black in color, and that's why it is called bg hyphen doc. Now if I take a look at the upper one, that is this one right here, you can see it has the class of bg primary. That means the bg hyphen dark is the unique for this navigation bar here. So let's just go ahead and try to select it with the tag name of nav dot bg hyphen dark like this. You can see we select the navigation bar. Now to select anything inside of a element like this nav bar here, what we can do is simply insert a space and then write our selector again. That is in this case, we want to select the A element inside of this navigation bar. So we simply select the nav bar first, then insert a space and then type out our child selector. That is the A element in this case. Now you can see we have the navigation bar right here. Then it has another child and then it has another child. Now you can see it selects 10 navigation bars or 10 navigation links, that is this one, this one, and all the other links. So we only want to select the one that is right here, that is nav hyphen link. So let's go ahead and apply the class. So nav hyphen link. You can see we are selecting five link elements, that is this one, this one, this one and the drop down one. Now to shorten our search to this one, you can see it has a link or a class of nav link and the active class name, which the others don't have. So if we want to add two or more classes, we simply append them after the dot. That is, we have the tag name, we have the class name, and then if you want to add another class, we simply add another dot and specify the class name that is active in this case. Great. Now you can see we have shortened or just selected this link item right here. So we can now test it with our playwright locator. Let's provide it the parent that is nav bg dark class. And inside of that, we have the A element. And then now we can go ahead and say the nav hyphen link dot active like this. So let's go ahead and highlight the same. And now you can see we have selected the home element. You will see that using this technique, we can shorten our search by just selecting the parent first and then the children inside of the parent. And now it does not matter where the ch child is. That is, you can see the nav is sitting right here. Inside of that, we have a dev 
or a divider. Inside of the divider, we have another divider. That divider has this UL and that UL has a LI, that is a list item, and that has our A or the link item. So there's always another situation where we'd like to select an element based on the next child. Let me show you an example. So let's say we would like to select this link or list item right here or this list group. So if I go ahead and try to inspect it, you can see we have a div item that has list groups and just below that we have another list group with the ul tag name that is unordered list that has this list items so let's say we would like to select this list item so we will start with the tag name that is ul and the class name that is list hyphen group now you can see we do select this list item and we also select another one because you can see we have two selections if i go to that you can see we have another selection right here so if i do expand the browser you can see it is this one right here now the problem is if we'd like to select only this one we will try to shorten it with the parent that is you can see the parent of the list we want is a divider element with the class of bs hyphen component so if we go ahead and add that at the beginning that is dev dot bs component you can see it again selects the other list element as well why is that well because if we take a look at its parent we have the same thing that is dev class with bs component in this situation if we want to only select the element that is directly under this component that is dev with the class of bs component we can use the child selector that is in between these two elements we will insert a angle bracket or the greater than symbol that is this right here now what the selector stands is try to look for this item right here directly under this item that is this ul which is directly under this bs hyphen component and the other list element was not the case that is it was a bit deeper inside of another child that's why we could use this child selector which is the direct child selector to select an element directly under a parent so you can use and combine the selectors like this to select elements based on their hierarchy and parent-child relationship.